welcome to the review of all 3 dp The Zortrax M200 is a really well-built 3D printer. We also like the design. It's cool, it's black, it's very sturdy, and it looks good on your desktop. You find the display on the right-hand corner of the printer. It's very easy to read and very easy to navigate. You just have a little knob you can turn and push to go through the menu. The menu points are very easy to understand and are only two levels down. The extruder is equipped with a 0.4 mm nozzle. On the right hand side you also find a fan which cools the material. Also on the right hand side there is a USB port for directly connecting your printer to a PC or a Mac. We really like the build plate. Um, it's perforated and it also gets heated. So it's a um, very good environment for 3D printing. And thanks to magnets, it, the bed really rests very stable. Also in the box you find the ZABS spool. Attaching the spool is quite easy. You just have this spool holder which is mounted on the back of the 3D printer. With this spatula you can remove your 3D prints from the plate if they are sticky. Uh, it's quite well built and pretty sharp. When it comes to assembly, the Zortrex M200 is pretty easy to set up. First you have to connect the two ribbon cables to the build plate. Then you put the build plate on the magnetic holders. And you control if this thing is fine. Yes. Next you take the filament holder and put it on the back of the 3D printer. So fits nicely. Okay, you put the filament on the filament holder, which is quite easy. And then you have to check if the spool rotates counterclockwise. This little thingy is the filament guide, which is pretty important. It's also mounted on the back of the printer. Okay, you take your filament, put it through the filament guide and fill the material right into the plastic tubing which you attach there. Next you attach the extruder cable which controls the printhead. Next step is to load the filament. So please go to the menu, choose filament and load new filament. Now the extruder will heat up and also the build plate will heat up. So please be careful when touching the inside of the printer. You know, take the filament and put it on the upper side of the extruder. The material gets torn in and we're set to print. The adjustment on the Zortrax M200 actually is quite easy. First, you have to calibrate the build plate. So you choose the point maintenance in the menu and follow the instructions on the display. First you have to tighten all the screws. Oh, and be careful, the build plate can get really, really hot. So you better use the safety gloves. The printhead now moves along the build plate. You have to adjust the screws so you have an even bed finally. The Zortrax M200 comes with a software called Z-Suite. It can be downloaded on the website of Sawtrax. There's a version for Windows and for Mac. Um, it's made for preparing your prints, so you definitely have to check on this. You can drag and drop uh, models or just import them. You can import STL, Object and DFX files. Having imported the files, you can watch your model from every angle you like. You can turn your model, you can move it, and you can choose to automatically place it. Let's click on Print so you can get to the Print Settings menu. Uh, you can choose the Material, Layer Thickness, Speed, Infill, Support, and print cooling. You have to juggle a little bit with the uh, uh, settings if you want really good prints. So let's start printing. First of all you take the SD card and put it in the slot. Then you go to the menu to models 
and choose your model. Now the printing begins and it will take some time. Be prepared. <laughs> Can take a long time. So finally our print is ready. First of all we let the build plate cool down a little bit. Then we remove the building plate, take the spatula and remove the build from the plate, which is quite easy actually. If you're a 3D printing pro you probably don't want to remove the build plate, but for beginners it's easier. Then you remove the socket and the quality is actually very, very good. We really like the quality the M200 provides. Our resume, the Zortrex M200, is a really, really good printer. It's very easy to use. You get quality prints and it's nearly plug and play. Our verdict, it's a top printer. Mm -hmm.